Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back and I'm doing a big canvas. Yeah. <laughs> um, never done one this big before, but I have seen my amazing friend Rinska do a huge canvas and so has Molly um, from Molly's Artistry. So um, both of my girls um, who I adore very much have done massive canvases and I've never done one this big. Like, I mean, I've done, I did the big triptych, um, which was um, six by 24 inches each, um, each piece, um, but I've never done a big canvas. So this one, 20 by 20 inches or 50 by 50 centimeters, off that one goes. And it's a level three canvas, um, which, I have taped the back. I only tape my level three canvases, which I don't use often, but when I do, um, I do tape the back. Because I, like, I mean, if you're gonna spend the money on an expensive level three canvas, you might as well make it look nice and clean on the back. And then I have my very, very big push pins. See, there you go, big push pins. Um, can you tell I've been painting tonight? And um, so, I'm on a little bit of weird of a, a weird camera angle because this is so big, it's literally almost the size of my table. So you're on a kind of like an angle. So sorry about that. However, I am going to try a Dutch pour on this massive piece here. And please cross your fingers that it works. Otherwise, it's going to be a colossal waste of paint. So that being said the colors i am using tonight i am gonna do blue in the blue family blue turquoise because it's my favorite color um so we have Payne's gray by uh pebeo studio acrylics now this Payne's gray has a blue um hint to it it's not the gray it's actually got a blue tinge to it so because there are different kinds um, and then i have a greenish blue by amsterdam Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo Studio Acrylics, Thalo Blue by Academy, and a Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex Basics. Now these squeeze bottles um, I buy off Amazon. They are Wilton, so they're actually for cake um, decorating stuff. Um, but I have these listed in my Amazon shops uh, in the links below in the description. So I have, you know, my spatula, torch, everything I use you'll find in, I have two shops, the um, US shop and a Canadian shop. So feel free to check those out. And if you wanna know um, how I mix my ratio in these paints, um, check out video number 63 or click on the little, you know, link thing above right there that pops up. That'll take you to my video where it shows you how I mix my paints for my squeeze bottles. There is paint. Floetrol and water in here. That's it. So, and last but not least, I have Antique Copper by Folk Art. So those are my colors. Um, that's just for, you know, uh, I dropped my lid. The lid just popped off. All right, so when I'm done with this piece, because um, I'm still going to be doing more pieces after this, I'm going to pick this baby up. I'm going to put it on the floor right down there. I've already um, leveled it out, so I know when I put it down, it's going to be level because it has to be level. If you put it down anywhere to dry and it's like this or n like even a smidge not level, as it the hours go by and it's drying, it'll literally just keep sliding off and you'll come back to it like an hour later and I'm telling you, you'll be pretty disappointed. So I will put that down on the floor and what I will do after that is I have these awesome nets that I bought. Um, so this is like a, a food net. It's like for um, picnics or camping. It's supposed to keep the bugs away, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, but anywho, it's a massive, uh, hold on, let me, there we go. So it's pretty big. Um, and I use this mostly for my resin stuff, um, but it's awesome and you just cover it and then that way, no bugs, no flies, not that I have any in the basement, but I have heard people where, oh, a bug flew into my painting, or dust, or cat, or dog hair. So this thing is super cool. You just 
pop it open, you put it on top just like so, and you let this baby dry and you don't have to worry about anything falling into it. Now, I got that from the dollar store or as you in Canada, we Canadians call it Dollarama. I think it's about three bucks. Um, so yes, there are stuff there more for a dollar. But anywho, if you can't find it at your local dollar store, they do have them on Amazon. So check them out there as well. All right, let's get started. I'm excited to see what happens. I have my white, which is Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White mixed with Floetrol. I'm gonna need a lot of this stuff because this, I am so excited because I seriously have never, ever, ever done, like this is gonna take up the whole bottle, almost. I've never done anything this big, so it's kind of scary, okay? So be scared with me, people. <laughs> so my lovely spatula will help me spread this baby, this paint, not this baby. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking, but um, help me spread all my paint around. I love it. Um, it's a very, very uh, good tool. And it's silicone, so I use it with my resin and with my acrylic paint, and then it literally just comes right off. All right, so I think I'm good here on the top. And then I'm just going to take my squeeze bottle, which has the same stuff as the other bottle, and I'm just going to run it across the edges and run my fingers across the edge and make sure my edges are also covered. I am so not used to working with such a big canvas. Rinska and Molly, how do you do it? I hope this turns out really good because then I'll, I'll cry. <laughs> All right. And I gotta go around the table. Around to this side. Make sure this side gets covered. All right. We are covered. Okay, paper towel. Okay. Wow, that is big. Okay, I'm going to um, pop the bubbles with my torch. Lots of bubbles in here. And a fluff. Gotcha. All right. I'm just gonna add some white here because I can kind of see the canvas. So a little bit right here. Okay, guys, <laughs> let's go. So I don't really have a plan in mind, but what else is new? I never have a plan in mind. I kind of go with the flow. So let's flow. Uh, let's start. I guess it doesn't really matter. But so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go um, diagonally. Maybe I'll go this way diagonally. It'll be better for you guys to see. I don't know. Uh, and then we'll see what hap so happens. Should I go this way? What's easier for you guys to see? This way? Yeah, let's go this way. All right, wish me luck. Starting with Payne's Gray. Uh, iridescent. Let me give it a shake first. Iridescent Green Blue. I love this one. This is so pretty. It just shimmers. It's kind of like a, a shimmery. All right. Let's go with the greenish blue by Amsterdam. Oh my God. I love these colors. Guys, like seriously, blue is my ultimate favorite color. You will never understand. Well, actually, I'm sure a lot of you do. I can't get the lid off this sucker. Okay. I'm born in September. So, you know, clearly I love blue. All right. Some 
bright aqua green and phthalo blue. I hear footsteps, which would be my daughter Sophia, who's supposed to be in bed, but I hear footsteps upstairs. And last but not least, I'm going to do the antique copper. Okay, so I am hoping this is enough paint. I'm going to add a little more of the iridescent green blue because I'm, it shimmers on this end. So I'm going to put some on this side and a little bit more of my greenish blue because this color from Amsterdam, oh my God, guys, it is a phenomenal color. One of my new favorite colors. Okay, so that's done. Do I have enough in here for white? Yeah. So now I'm going to pour my white around all right okay the white is around i'm going to torch it get all the air bubbles out and now you guys are going to wish me luck <laughs> all right Got my blow dryer, which you can also find in my Amazon link below. It's a Con Air, not that it matters. Guys, everyone's like, oh, what kind of hair dryer do you use? I can't get my Dutch pour right, I need your hair dryer. No, guys, really, honestly, the hair dryer doesn't play the biggest role in the Dutch pour. But anywho, like, I mean, it does, obviously, but I mean, it doesn't have to be this kind, you know what I mean? So, okay, let's blow the white over. It's like a line that that blew over really really well now the question is can I blow it to look pretty <laughs> okay guys I'm excited okay let's do this I think I'm gonna start here in the middle and blow this way and then um, go that way because I think if I start on one end I'll end up blowing all the paint in one end and I'll lose it all down here at the bottom so okay let's start this way Okay, so now I'm just gonna fix that if I can. Oh my God. I love these colors. And the, the antique copper that is just sneaking through. Oh man, it'd be nice if there was more of it. I should have put more, but okay, now we blow carefully okay oh my god it's so pretty can you see that that is so cool actually i lied let's torch first should we torch no let's blow i don't even know what to do i'm so excited okay touched it. It's so big I'm not used to it. All right. Oh my god, I'm going to get everything in here, my hair, my everything. Now, a lot of people ask me, oh, you should use a straw. I hate, hate straws because, you know, the straws are so thin and so small so that when you blow, you don't get these thick, um, you know, 
blows, you get these little wispy lines. Now I know there's fat straws, but I don't like that either because when you're blowing in the straw, your hot breath leaves condensation in the straw. And next thing you know, you're dripping saliva on the paint, on your canvas. So that's another reason why I hate straws. So many people are like, oh, you should use a straw. I hate straws for that reason. So I don't use them. Okay, keep going. Oh God. <laughs> I'm gonna get my girls in the painting. Oh man. All right. Oh, this looks so good. See? I t <laughs> Thank God it's just white, guys. Because, like, I mean, you can't even see it. But, oh, man, I got to be careful. And the key is, guys, to blow um, slowly. Um, you don't want to blast it because it's just going to squirt it everywhere. Um, so just light blows. Over the edge. I love the way it leaves that little ring around. It's so beautiful. All right, I'm gonna try and come around to this side and attempt to blow a little over here. Blow that over the edge. Okay, and then I think I'm just gonna blow a little bit here and I'm gonna leave it. Guys, no joke, I love it. The only thing I wish, I still love it. The only thing I wish is that it had a little more copper in it, the antique copper, but let's torch it. Let me come back to my regular side. I'm gonna torch it. Where did that blob come from? Anywho, white blob, I mean. Okay. Guys, seriously, I love this color combo so much that I'm going to do it again. Um, and you know what? I'm going to do it on, um, I'm going to do it on these wood panels. I'm going to do a diptych. So guys, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna bring you down for a close up. Oh gosh. Okay, all right. 
close-up. Guys, I'm so excited. Molly, Renska, what do you guys think? My first big pour. I think, so Orinska calls these her power pours. And I can see why. Because, guys, I can't even, I don't even know where the camera is. All right, let's go. Uh, girls, I hope you're proud of me. I did it. I'm so excited. Look at the copper. I love it. It's so pretty in there. I'm going to add more, though, in the, when I do the diptych. I'm so excited. All right, I'm moving around this way, see if I can get a better view. That is super cool. I'm super excited. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, please. And if you are watching and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I would love it if you do. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you are notified every time I post new videos and sometimes I do go live. So click that bell, that way you're notified. And check out all my links below, the Amazon shops and my social media links are all listed below. And my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate. Um, that helps me buy materials so that I can do things like this and give you guys tutorials and keep up the videos on my channel. So every little bit helps guys like, you know, don't think, you know, some people I've gotten all kinds of donations from five bucks to whatever bucks. So every little bit helps and I tremendously appreciate it. So thanks so much guys. Until next time. Have a good night. Bye.